Today is a different story. We are going to do Pretoria once again. We're going to be starting with this area here. We're going to be starting from around the central part of, uh, of Pretoria going up. And we're just going to be mingling, doing different streets. Look at this building here. How amazing. So I think it's, it's going to be the tallest building here in Pretoria is for now. I wonder, just starting to wonder. We are right on top of, uh, this is actually a, a shopping complex. What's the name of this area here? You can see there is Capitec there, it's written Capitec, clicks. Uh, yeah, it's a shopping complex around here. Guys, in the work here, yeah. having nice pics, shooting nice pics here, and it's even so so hectic in there. Very hectic in there. It's a Friday. Looks very hectic. Um, everyone is minding their own business. It's a normal day. It's a very normal day. With beautiful people. It is actually a beautiful day. Let me not just talk too much. I just enjoy the video. Just like walking this street here, just to enjoy the different vibes guys because you got to be meeting different people every day that's why i like this street here we're gonna just go this this way let's keep on sticking around oh. if i don't walk now i'll never walk again let me pass Actually this building here yeah, I understand it's really going to be this tallest building here in, in Pretoria What an amazing video. Pretoria is doing great. And then you met ways. I mean, you can say anything you like, but you know what? What I'm just going to be doing now, I just want us to walk along this street here and only use this street to be walking today, not only in the CBD area, but uh, spreading our legs a little bit far away from the city, but using this street here so that we can experience different vibes. At the same time, the city vibe. Okay. I got to meet you here, guys. Whoa. 
I've got to meet you guys. Let me just showers here. Let me just clean the lenses so that you can have a clear vision of this walk from somewhere around the central part and we are going down with it. You gotta experience this lovely city guys. It's a great city. I tell you it's a great city. It has everything that you need. You can meet friends here. I mean I can start talking to anyone at any moment and they're very welcoming like i'm always saying about this city it is the lovely people that's why it is very unique that's the reason why this city is very unique it is because of the people that you got to meet here um, let's cross here right it's a friday it's hectic got to run Don't have to mind some most of the other places I've got to mute because they have they've got some uh, copyright music and all that stuff. I'll see you after vlogging, my man. I'm just coming to take this one. Ne? After vlogging, I'm coming to you. So I got to be meeting these people, these guys. Doing their work. What they do is that they, when they see you approaching from somewhere, they will just shoot you. <laughs> With that, you know, and then when you approach them, they'll show you the pic that they've, that they've shot. And if you see how good it will be looking, you'll be tempted to get it. Most definitely. That's how they attract their customers. So like I said guys, the thing is I'm not going to be cutting this video. Um, we're just going to be doing some series of un uncut videos today. I mean these days of this city here, Pretoria, just to prove to you uh, that see, Pretoria is the best city to be. Um, like I'll be doing some series also with the bedside of these areas. I mean not, not bad as bad. I, I mean that doesn't look like wow you know what i mean not really that clean mm. so those are the some of the areas that i'll be just showing you different areas like that they are actually like um what can i how can i put it there are a lot of uh, colleges around here as you can see students they are knocking off from school there are a lot of colleges around here, the university as well. You know, learning institutes and plenty of them. Some food. So this is Helen and Joseph and when you go up there it's Nelson Mandela but if you continue going this way it's uh, Helen and Joseph of which this is Helen and Joseph that I want us to be doing today we are not going to be focused on another street as for now we're just going to be focusing on this Helen and Joseph so we took this Helen and Joseph from uh, central part of the city right so we're just going to be going with with Helen and Joseph hey come on I got to be running here like crazy right otherwise you won't cross but that is also breaking the law you just have to wait for the for the uh, for the robot to open for you and then you can pass 
but then the thing is i don't want to edit the video i just want to bring it to you as an uncut so i don't want to be wasting time with like standing there so like i've been saying guys if you cut on walking going down here this is Helen, Helen Joseph. This street, if you carry on walking going down there, you'll be going to Arcadia. So Arcadia is actually um, a suburban area. It's a residential area with great houses. I think I've got a video of, of Arcadia on this channel. You can go on and check on that one if you wanna see how Arcadia really looks like. And the other thing again, Arcadia has so many uh, government properties and proper properties from the other governments out of the country that like the embassies other countries embassies I mean they're all here in uh, in Arcadia so as you can see where am I coming from since it is an uncut video I'm coming all the way from here right this is the city as you can see this is the building that they are building and you can see the sun is coaching it's hot guys it's hot but i continue taking this walk for you and uh this is a lot of sacrifices that i give you i give to you guys because i want to give you everything that i can get at any time so like i was saying guys i'm gonna be giving you pretoria as it is I'm gonna giving you be giving you Pretoria with its highs and lows, the bad sides, the good sides, but mostly we are gonna be concentrating on the good sides because the bad sides has been always been told and uh, told in a very negative way. The bad sides that I'm gonna gonna be showing you, I'm gonna be showing you bad sides, but I'm gonna be showing you bad sides in a positive way, just for you to know. how bad maybe places looks like or the disadvantages of the area because always there is a disadvantage and an advantage of every area and every place that you go so you guys i think you these are some areas that you you'll say we wanna have an experience on so this is what i'm doing right now So I'm going to be muting some of the areas because there will be a copyright music. Every time when you see me muting, it's because maybe there will be a copyright music. Then I would have to, me to mute. Yeah, look at this building over the side here. Not far away from here, actually there is a mall here. Maybe we can just have a, a pass through the mall. I don't know. Let's see. Right, let's pass through here. You can see over that side there, there is Southern Sun. There. The Southern Sun, I think it's a hotel, because I understand the Southern, the Southern Sun, mostly there are hotels and great hotels after all. Guys, I'm sweating, it's hot here in Pretoria today. Pretoria actually is always hot, in most cases. This is the great, the greatness of the city. It's the weather that I like most. So we're just gonna be continuing. You're not crossing this street here when you're going this side here, it's Steve Big Road. We are crossing Steve Beaker Road, continuing with Helen and Joseph. Woo. Where? No, this is now Stanza. So the road is changed to Stanza. Right. And getting in there, it's a mall. There's a great mall there. And of which I don't think I can make a, I can do a, a walk through there. 
because I'm flashing my camera some other mods they don't allow that so I won't spoil this video because of that all I'm just gonna do is uh, just to carry on walking here and to give you look at this I'm sure you can feel sun is that side and here it's all shed so I'm just walking somewhere where it is like you know it's cool the temperature is just giving it's just giving nice vibes the temperature around here I've been feeling hot but now it's cooling me down this temperature And I'm sure you can also see something that is quite, uh, this area has changed. This area is quite changed. It's getting cooler and cooler. I mean, in terms of, uh, in terms of people who are walking around here, in terms of, uh, I mean, the, uh, the population that is around here of people who are walking. Yeah. The streets are quite, very 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 quiet no no not really chaotic and you guys i'm sweating i'm crazy sweating like crazy here and i'm just you know moving away from uh, from that shed now i'm just coming back to the sun again crazy but i just like everything of around here can you see the south africa that you don't see on media always as in this beautiful south africa for those ones who think uh, Africans they don't have food enough, do you see someone who's hungry here? Yeah? Who's like is about to be falling down because they're hungry? Oh my god, I can't pass through here. I have to wait. Or maybe we can just chat a little bit. It's getting let's chat a little bit. Or maybe how about going this way? We are now actually know what we are doing now guys um, we're just going to change the way instead instead of going up let's go down which side is down which side is up is this up is this down I don't know whatever it is but we have changed this street now uh, You've taken Hilton. <laughs> it's one of those things. What can you say? These are some of those beautiful areas that you find here. Yeah. I'm not so sure what the name of this area is this uh, Acadia already because you know Acadia is just very adjacent to the city and Acadia is also very adjacent to Hatfield there is Protea is a Pretoria hotel here Pretoria hotel and the room starts from 550 guys I think I've got to show you this you see that that uh, that hotel there it's called Pretoria Hotel and the rooms are starting from 550 it's all written down there this whole this whole building this whole are these uh, apartments that you see there all these it is Pretoria Hotel and rooms starting from I didn't know of this area starting for 500 only 550 a day that's great and um, you can actually find this area don't forget guys this is pretoria hotel that you find right in pretoria just very close to the city center um I, it's just uh, it's on uh, where is it it's pretoria street it's pretoria street and hamilton street in between pretoria street and hamilton street you'll find this uh you'll find this water here sorry you want to be in the, in the... Okay, fine. Maybe I can just ask you a few things. What is the name of this hotel here? Yeah? 
the Pretoria Hotel, sir. Pretoria Hotel, all right. How much is it for a day, a night? I think it's like 550. 550? Yes, sir. You know well about this place then? Yes, sir. Okay, I see. Thank you so much for giving us something, eh? All right, enjoy your day. Um, it's just this guy who just wanted to be on the, on the, on the video. So you can see here, that's a, this is Pretoria Street. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start walking, going down back to the, sh to, to the city using Pretoria Street. This is another street again. Okay? So let's see the vibes around here. We're going to just walk and walk until we get to the city using Pretoria Street. At least you would have an idea of how this city looks like. From the beginning to the end through my lens i won't be able to do the whole pretoria same time because i believe these areas that i'm doing right now i've never done them before look at this nice building and it's a police station yeah it's a police station wow and uh you shouldn't be shooting police stations let's pass here So, meaning to say, if you would have a problem, you would just simply have to come over to this police station here. Ever you have any problem when you're around here. Uh, the road that we'll be just approaching right now, in front of us, it will be going to Gezina, also going to, um, it's a way you could go or you could take when you're going to Rustenberg. I think I've done some videos of Rustenberg before. Okay, let's cross here. Let's cross, let's cross. Let's cross. So here, Southern Sun Pretoria. This is the south, south, Southern Sun that I was showing you when I was this other side. Can you see it here? These are all hotels that you can come and book. I'm not so sure about the prices of this one. Um, but uh, for this other one that I've just given you, and I think I talked to, to some of these guys there <laughs> who just wanted to be in the camera. But anyway, we had already the, the prices is 550 a night, starting from 550 a night. So it all depends what room, how many are you, and uh, if you've got kids, maybe, all that. So what do you do? We just want to go straight using Pretoria's street all the way to the city. Pretoria Street. It's one of those streets that I love a lot, especially when you're in this, when you're right in the CBD. It's just beautiful to be walking there. And uh, look at these buildings here. And you can see also here there is we could have just done um, a walk through here but unfortunately i don't think it's a nice nice mall there so guys let's do it this way let's just cross over this way and uh we're no longer going to take pretoria street instead let's just go over there see because i think I see some vibes here. Something that I've just noticed. That let's go. Let's cross. I'm running. I'm running. I think I've noticed. Let's meet here. So what I've realized also at this moment when I'm walking here, people that are taking their lunch, I think it's last time when we were doing this video. Um, actually it's around, what time? Let me just check on my phone. Let me just check on my phone. I don't wanna give you lies. It's, uh, it's actually 
29 minutes to 2 o'clock as we are doing this video here I wanted us to be taking Pretoria Street but something made me divert because I wanted you also to be showing you this building that I see there and uh, to be walking on new pavements that I've never walked before just experiencing these nice places here the nice apartments as you can see up there and uh, these apartments they are just adjusting to it's access francis Bahad because this street that is after, uh, this, that is in front of us is, is uh francis Bahad, and the street that we are just coming from that i wanted us to carry on walking on is pretoria street as you can see and uh, this one that goes steve biko can you see that guys steve biko and francis Bahad. so what do we do now we <laughs> We're actually going to take uh, Francis Bohard and let's just go try to go a little bit down with it. Beautiful cars. So guys, um, Francis Bohard is quite a story. As you can see, moving around with it, just walking, going up with it from where I had said guys I'll see you somewhere there so I'm now somewhere there and you can see guys wow Francis Bahad is such a such a great such a great street as far as I can see it you can see here say trailers to rent it's a business where you can find some trailers there to rent if you're someone who's driving so what we're gonna be doing now is we're just gonna be going straight here straight up here Ooh. robot is too red let's cross Ooh. So difficult sometimes you know to deal with this robots here whilst you are vlogging because you'll be concentrating with cars high speed cars and with the robots it's a challenge like now it was about like he's stopping I don't know why make made him continue crazy That is Francis Bohard. Guys, the one that you are walking right now. This Francis, the same Francis Bohard will take you to a Hatfield, Acadia. I'm so sure about that. But as you continue, the, the street name will, will also continue changing. I believe. This is quite a beautiful city. It's what I see now. But different challenges, I believe. But uh, it's for me to remain a beautiful city. Oh, <sighs> What a city guys so crossing this street here is Detroit Street Detroit Detroit I don't know how you would want to pronounce it but I would pronounce it as Detroit Street which is the one that is going down there and going up there so we we are going on we're gonna continue with uh, Francis Bahar Street of which is this one here now the kids are just coming from school the the students it's been an amazing walk guys walking these streets here
the other is bunk bunk house i think it's also a nightclub or something like that i'm not so sure in the apartment that is also up there and uh this goes with uh francis bahad street well so here in france bahad street you will find all these buildings there's also uh, this i don't know because i can't show you exactly because the sun is scorching that way but uh there's also nice apartments there you can see this nice building up here yeah. sorry for the sun i don't think you'll be able to see it quite well let's just get in here it's some shed guys have done a crazy walk today it's nice apartments also over this side can you see there guys beautiful streets street so whenever we are always around this area here yeah, this is Francis Bohard right whenever we are around these areas you can always this is Louis uh, it's a private hospital uh, Louis can you see that's his name there of this private hospital here yeah, yeah. you can see it's clean here yeah? smart so you can tell some of the areas around Pretoria, especially in the CBD, most of the of uh, of the area around Pretoria is smart, very clean. I can repeat that: clean and smart. Most of the areas, though, in some areas, of course, there is uh, some problems there and there when it comes to cleanliness. But most of the areas, this is what you find out. It's a metro park. How does one pass when it's like this it's about to be okay let's pass let's pass Whew. it's an amazing area so if you would come here um, I'm just trying to um, I'm just trying to meet some other segments like I'm always saying you know when you come here there is a good nice area like this one here Ooh. it's actually where you find uh, what you call quota call it quota yeah it's uh, what is quota actually yeah it's, it's something that is uh, that is bread a quota bread that they put uh, different meat, maybe Russian, maybe chicken, uh, Aviana, also with some chips, with chakalaka, or you no know, different <laughs> kind of recipes there in a one uh, quota bread. See, they just mix it together. And then said it like that that's what they call it quarter it's quite satisfying you now it's more than a, a burger you will really feel satisfied if you eat that that uh, is it my man no thanks thanks man yeah i'm good look look just look at this i'm doing the, the thing i'm doing what you're doing I'm doing what you're doing. I'm vlogging right now. Doing it for Yeah. Serious? Yeah, like now. You wanna see? I know you wanna give me a peek, but I'm already doing something as you're doing. You want me to promote you, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Support me. Yeah. Alright, let me just go somewhere up there. When I'm done with my vlogging, 
then I'll, yeah, no I'll come back. I think people know already around here there's someone like you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Warren. 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 Guys, come and support this guy here. It's Warren. He's right here in Pretoria, somewhere around this street here. It's a uh, Francis Bar Street, right? This one is. I mean, this street here. What is this? Francis Bard, right? So, guys, I think you can see where this guy has got his camera right here. Look at this. It's 1300. 1300. Yeah, he's trying to do some business. Come and support. Just tell them you are coming from Walk Africa. Walk Africa, eh? Go and check that channel. Walk Africa on YouTube, right? All right, man. Guys. I don't have something to be giving him. I wish I had something I don't have. For today, I've already given to the others. I've met two or three of these guys for only one day. Maybe some other day, he's just driving there. Those are the people that you should just come and support, guys, when you're walking around. You know, when you're in Pretoria, just come and have a shoot, photo shoot there for nice pics that they shoot, these guys. Try that. So I'm meeting some segments, sorry about that. And we continue with our, our vlogging today. We are right here in Francis Bahad. We are right back into the city. And let's see what Francis Bahad has got for us today. People are having their lunch. People are eating. Some are just chilling. different kinds of behaviors them they'll be tired for the day but yeah this is how the city looks like from where we are standing right now I don't think these, uh, these apartments are working anymore, those old apartments, yeah. I don't think so. So we're just gonna try to continue with this Francis Bahad up until somewhere up there. 